Hey, hello, and assalamu alaikum. It is me again. I am here. Today, I'm gonna be drawing myself again. This is one of the better pictures, honestly, that I've done in a while. Because the picture turned out so good that I didn't even end up needing line art. So, I cut that entire portion out of the video because the line art wasn't even important in the end. Right here in the beginning, I'm doing not necessarily a color study because I was working from a picture that I had taken on my phone. But I'm laying down the base colors so that I know where the light and dark should hit. Like, generally speaking. So I had something to work off of instead of just working off of a blank canvas. Blank canvas. Because normally, when you work from just a blank canvas, it can get a little... What's the word I'm looking for? Um, intimidating. Because it's blank. Hence the reason why I never just work on a white surface. A lot of the times, I'll add like a splash of color in the background and then work from that. Because when it's a white surface, for whatever reason, I just feel like I'm just like a void. Like anything I draw there will disappear. But, yeah. So that's what's going on right here. I'll probably come back in a little bit talking about what, like the middle of the picture. This this actually goes by pretty fast. It didn't take me that long to do this because, as I said before, I had something to go off of and I studied this picture for a long while before I actually decided to draw on it. So, I'll be back in a few. Hello again. So, as you can see, I did utilize the line art quite a bit just to section off the parts of the drawing that I wanted to do because when I don't have any confines, I tend to get overwhelmed. And that that goes for like every anything. Like if I'm just drawing a picture off the top of my head or any something like that. Like if I don't have something a little nice safe bubble to keep me in so that I can work where I am, I get a little overwhelmed. So the line art did actually help in that it kept me in like a little small area and I could concentrate really well on that area before I moved on to the next section. I end up not necessarily redoing the eye all the way, this one, but I did like redo it a little bit added extra color because it was kind of dull compared to the picture you know the eye didn't exactly line up as it did on the picture because you know it's not a perfect drawing so I had to finagle it a little bit and uh, try to get it to look right but you know this eye is actually my favorite one because this is the eye that was in the sunlight and you could see the actual color of brown eyes. Like, that's always my favorite part of brown eyes when they're in the sunlight. It's, it's always really nice and it just looks very sweet and nice and warm, you know? That's what I love about brown eyes. Brown eyes are best eyes. Brown eyes are favorite eyes.
Okay, right here, when I start to get working on the inside of the glasses, I did this on the wrong layer. <laughs> and I didn't find out that I had done it on the wrong layer until way later on in the drawing when I tried to go back and add to it and I was just like, why is this not working? And I realized because it was on the base layer. I worked in two layers for the color in this drawing because I wanted to keep it really, really simple. I wanted it to be more painterly, if that makes sense. Where if you're painting a painting, you're painting it just on one layer. You either cover it or you know, blend. That's about it. Here's something that I learned from TikTok and Instagram Reels. Right there. I don't know if you saw and noticed what I just done. It's I took the highlight layer where the sun is shining and then I took a saturated color and put it on both sides so that it gave it like a slightly glowing effect. You'll see it a little bit more on the bottom half of the face where the light is hitting. If you put a really saturated color on either side of where your light you want your light to hit, it'll give it a little glowing effect. And that is actually how it looks on like real skin, I noticed. And that was why I was doing it, but I was just like <gasps> when I was doing it, I had like an epiphany epiphany? I don't know how to pronounce the word. That that's exactly how the TikTokers do it. Where it, it's like these TikToks going around where they use like Posca pens and they draw like in color and then they draw like a white line right in the middle of it and then it looks like those um, those neon those neon lights. Oh, I forget what they're called, but I'm sure you guys know what they are. But yeah.
This is getting to the end of the drawing. This is where I should probably say something about loving yourself and how you look and da 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 da. But I don't really have anything to say. <laughs> it's, it's a slow, very slow, and a very personal process, you know? And I'm finding that.
through drawing mud. I always say this thing that I think everyone is ugly until I look at them for long enough. (laughs) Which is honestly true. Because when I look at somebody for long enough, I find things that I really, really like about their face. And that's what's been happening to me. I was just like, uh, she kind of ugly. And, (laughs) you know, I looked at her for long enough. And not this drawing in particular that's kind of ugly, but just my face specifically. But I've kind of got a cheat code because I draw in that I think drawing and art is beautiful. So by default, a drawing or a piece of art made to look like my face makes it beautiful, you know? Because it's art. And I'm just like, yeah. That looks nice now. You know? (laughs) And so it has actually been helping a lot. Which is a funny thing to say. I found the cheat code. I like my face because I can make my face art. (laughs) Well, yeah. I think my lip is my favorite part because if you know me, I don't really have a top lip. I have a top lip. Like, obviously, I have a top lip. My lips are just thin. But my bottom lip does act is actually like a little larger than my top lip. And at this angle, you could not see my top lip at all. And I thought that was really funny. So, the lip and the eyes are my favorite part. And the lip is the only part of my favorite part because it's funny looking. <laughs> and that's about it. But I really like this drawing. And I hope you guys enjoy it too. I'm going to go so you guys can watch the rest without me rambling and saying corny things the entire time.
And with that, that ends the drawing. I hope you guys enjoyed. I enjoyed drawing this a lot, actually. The drawing went by faster than I thought it was, than I thought it would. I think that's partly because I've been learning so much with all the different things I've been exploring with all my drawings that I just am able to just hop right into the process and get things done as opposed to, you know, sitting or waiting around because something looks weird or I haven't quite figured out how to execute something properly. So, you know, do all the things, comment, like, share, subscribe, do the little ding -ling bell, you know, all of them things, and I hope you come back next week. Bye!